morning everyone so i'm back out again um it's been a, a little while since my last video um part of the reason for that is that i um don't do a lot of photography over the summer even though we get a bit of fog um, once we get into late august all the greens um, go a little bit dark and so images can tend to maybe seem a little bit flat and i i then really want to um, wait till september october and then into october november where we get a bit of that color coming through in the leaves in the in the bracken um, so what I've been up to is I, I scout locations and today I've come out, I'm, I'm out in Snowdonia, it's a couple of hours where, from where I live and I've come to a, a fantastic oak woodland. Now the reason why I'm scouting locations is so that when I do come out and the conditions are right, if we've got a bit of mist, a bit of fog or, or rain, um, that when I arrive I have a little bit of an idea about maybe a few of the compositions that I'm looking for so I don't feel so rushed. So I get all of that feeling rushed out of the way today, um, the anxiety of finding compositions and then on the day as I said I can um, concentrate on things that I found or then if anything new comes up I can still take advantage of that. Um, today I'm, I'm testing um, a new way of finding lo um, exact locations and it's an app on my phone and it's uh, it's what three meters so it's it helps me to find exact locations yeah what three words sorry not what three meters it's three meter square blocks and throughout the world this app gives exactly three words to that exact three meters squared. So it's also really helpful, obviously, if you get lost or if you do have an accident or anything like that, then you can pinpoint exactly where you are with those, with those three words. So I'm, gonna, I'm giving that a little test today. I'll um, come back on um, how successful that is, but um, I, think, I think it will help. Other than that, in my bag, I've got a map I, I use the OS maps, really they're for finding new woodlands if I'm out and about. So today I'm at a particular woodland I've, I've already been to before and I'm back again today. But if I want to have a little scout around to any other woodlands, I can have a look on the map to see if there's uh, anything that looks good. It also helps um, if, if you're in a big woodland, then it does, it, it does kind of give you a bit of an idea whereabouts you are if you've been walking for quite a few hours. So yeah, I'm really excited about this woodland. I found a little um, spot under a canopy because actually it's really sunny today. So I'm feeling really good and that's, and that's what it's about. Enjoying, enjoying woodlands. I can see mountains in the distance. So there we go. I'll, I'll have a scout around and once I maybe find a couple of compositions, I'll, I'll have a bit more of a, a chat. So this is uh, exactly why um, I come scouting. I've just come over to a bit of woodland, uh, a bit of the woodland that I haven't been to before, and I've come across this section of these uh, fabulous old oak trees, and there's just loads of them. And I think they've been um, felling pines over maybe the, the last 20 years or so, and it, it seems like that because on, on the the woodland floor there's lots of old stumps which are now covered in moss and so that kind of gives a, an idea of the amount of time that they've been doing that and this allows um, the reinstatement um, of of the the natural habitat of um, this this oak woodland and I, I, I think they've also been clearing rhododendrons and various other things so anyway it gives a lot of space in this this particular section of woodland and that that is just perfect for photography. So I don't know if you've ever been out to uh, a woodland before. 
especially if you haven't scouted it. You go out, it's the, the conditions are perfect, there's misty, it might be foggy, and yet it's just too complex. There's too much going on on the forest floor. Um, you scrabble around trying to make compositions. So if you have the time, I know everyone doesn't have the time. I mean, I don't have loads of time, but um, if you can get out and scout a location, then it means that you're, you, you know that you're, you're gonna arrive at a place which possibly you're gonna be able to make some images that you'll be happy with and not waste those days going to woodlands which um, end up being not that effective or ones that you don't actually like. Well there we go, the, the, the sun's going behind the cloud now so we'll get a little bit more of an idea of what this would, would look like. Um, there's these two wonderful old um, characterful old oak trees either side, really old. There's um, leaves higher up but a lot of the branches lower down, they are, they are dying off slowly. And in the distance there's um, three or four, um, well three trees all clumped together. They are a little bit younger. There's a, um, maybe a little family unit of trees telling a, um, a story of how, how they've been um, connected with each other for um, the last few hundred years. And then these two larger, um, maybe, maybe grandparents either side keeping an eye on on the younger family unit so there's always you know you can you can make up anything you want with pictures but there is there is this element with trees that they are connected their roots are connected underneath the the ground and so yeah i i like i like to think that they've um um, grown up together and they possibly speak to each other. I don't speak tree language, but <laughs> um, I was brought up um, being read things like The Hobbit, um, um, Terry Pratchett books, Lord of the Rings. So um, yeah, um, quite a, um, I do like uh, the idea of fantasy. And so this is a, a perfect, wood, perfect woodland for me. So I'm gonna take a picture of this, this particular scene. Um, when there's a bit of mist, it will also help because I'm, I'm having to look up a little bit so there is a bit of sky in it and I'd, I, hopefully if we get a nice thick fog or mist, then we won't be able to see that. And I'm sure that this location with all of this, this uh, moss that is covering the trees as well, the ground is just totally soaked, that this is the location which is gonna be perfect for that. So I'll take a picture of this, I'll put it up um, and just to let you see it and then hopefully in the future when I come back I'll have a, a different version of it which I can then um, make a comparison as well. I will, I'll have a bit more of an explore but yeah definitely very very happy to have uh, found this for the future. So I've just come over to another bit of woodland and I thought I would um, take this opportunity to reiterate what I was talking about before. And I'll just turn the camera around and um, just show you. So there is a carpet of brambles, obviously some nice blackberries to eat, but this is really not what I'm after in a woodland. So I'd come over thinking those trees in the distance look really nice and they are fantastic. So they're, they're wonderful trees in their own right. Um, however, I really wouldn't try and come here when the conditions are right. So I've already managed to sort of put a cross in the box for this particular section of the woodland and then I can move on. So when the conditions are right, I don't need to, to bother with this particular section. Um, I've just come past um, a bit of woodland, which I'll show you in a moment, which actually, from find, trying to find this bit, next to it, there is a bit that actually does work. Um, so all this scouting around is, uh, is definitely um, paying off. So I've just come back over to a bit of woodland that I mentioned a moment ago. And as you can see, this is a lot clearer. Um, I'm not sure whether it's to do with um, the, the woodland management and this section, but uh, there's uh, just a bit of bracken and it's just so lovely to see that the, the woodland is being managed. And this is uh, 
allowing uh, the oak trees to thrive in their original environment. And so I'm just going to go over to scramble over to these two, which I've uh, which I've spotted. And there we go. And it's clear again. I mean, I'm not, not sure if you can also hear the, there's a, a lovely stream running just down in the, the gorge there. And then looking back this way, there's these fantastic oak trees again. So I'm just gonna take a, a quick picture. I'll just pop this on the, uh, the little tripod so I can have a, a chat about that. I've just got my camera set up. Um, it's just behind the uh, um, the GoPro, and either it, it's quite a nice bit of the the woodland to come come over to. And um, the the area before obviously would be useful in using um, the What Three Words um, app just to, as a, as a reminder of that particular location. Now this, on the other hand, because it was a bit of a scramble to get to, and if it was really misty or really foggy, then I think that that actually might um, come in quite handy. So I'll, um, I'll definitely use it in this, this instance. Um, the, the composition that I've got in mind is, again, there's, there's two trees either side, and I do quite like doing that. I don't always do it, but it, does, um, it can work um, quite well to frame the edges of the scene. And then the difference is this time, though, is that in the middle, there's, um, a single birch tree and then smaller birches beyond and what I liked about that was that the oak trees leaves will start to turn later than the birch and it's really nice to find a bit of this this woodland because it's um, mainly oak so with the birches they will the, the color will be um, much more vibrant earlier on and so I think that would um, create quite a nice contrast I'd come here in the mist or the rain because I quite like seeing over to the trees in the distance. That could uh, help to draw your eye through the, through the scene. Um, but I do uh, really like the look of this one. So I'll take a picture. I'm gonna pop it, I'll pop it up so you can have a little look of it. So I've actually set this one up properly because it's gone a, a little bit cloudier now. And so uh, I think I'll be able to take something that's um, um, worth showing anyway, and it'll help me um, in the future and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to uh, another woodland that um, I found and have a little scout around there just to see if that that would be worth coming back to as well so just to just to end and just to reiterate um, so it's I'm out scouting the reason for scouting is just to um, give myself uh, less pressure on the day when I'm out, when the conditions are right. Make sure that the actual woodlands that I'm going to are ones that I do want to return to. And also have a good time, get a feeling for the place, because once you get a feeling for the place, the type of trees or the environment that you're, you're in, whether or not it's a, a mountain environment. Actually, what I'll do is um, I'll pop up a, an image of um, that I've done in the mountains here as well. So um, just to show that it's not just um, woodlands that I've been doing. So to get a real feel for a place, it's really good to just, you know, just explore it and enjoy it. So anyway, thanks for watching as always. Um, if you, I know it's boring, but clicking the subscribe button really does help and uh, see you again next time.